if we go to the render menu and we go down to panels and we open up libraries we're going to get our libraries panel over here notice that Rhino brings a render content library and in this library we have environments we have materials like metals, plastic, screen, special uh, we also have some basic materials to start with and uh, basic environments and so uh, the idea here is that you can use this library to continue expanding uh, you can continue adding folders here uh, and create more more libraries for your specific needs uh, and notice you can also add other folders so this library is in uh, as you can see here is in a very specific place in in your C drive uh, but if we go over here and we go to settings right here it shows us exactly the settings for the library notice that is uh, the render content uh, is using the default library location. Now, if we go here to the custom option here, uh, it allows us to actually go through this part here and see exactly where in the computer the render content library is located. If you don't want that library located there, then what you can do is you can click browse and then place a folder anywhere uh, you want in your computer and you know begin to use your library from there what I but what I like to uh, do uh, is I, I like to leave the render content that comes with Rhino alone and then what I like to do is create my own library and this can be in users uh, your name and then whatever or it can be directly on the C drive it doesn't really matter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this one that's already there and show you how you can add one so right now, for example, if I click right here, it gives me a new line. Then I can browse to go look for a folder. Now I'm going to go to my Visual Tips directory. So I'm going to go to uh, my computer. I'm going to go to my C drive. I'm going to go to users, then public. Then I'm going to go here and I should have my Visual Tips directory in here, Visual Tips 5. And in here I have a directory for textures. So I'm going to select that, uh, that folder and click, uh, OK. So right now Rhino knows the path to this folder. I'm going to click OK and then OK. And notice right now if I go here, that it lists my new folder here. If I go in there, I have a folder in there for leather textures. So I could have another folder for concrete, another folder for floors, another folder for pretty much any other type of... Uh, but right now, if I go into leather, I have some leather tiles that are right here. And these are in your Visual Tips directory as well. So you can go ahead and open this library also. And what I want to do now is uh, notice that you can always go back to render content, you know, or you can go back to textures, you know. So right now, what I want to do is uh, let me go put it back in render content. There, let me let's open. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a, a file. So we'll go to file, open, and I want you to go to. Uh, let me bring this smaller over here. I want you to navigate to your uh, Visual Tips directory, go to the Savannah 3DM uh, folder, go to the sofas, and in the sofas, uh, I'm going to open up this one right here, sofas 010, kind of oriental looking uh, sofa. Now it's loading up the rendering information for the sofa, and here we go. There it is. And before we do anything, notice if you go to the render mode, it shows some color already applied over here. 
what I want you to do is in the panel here for the libraries, I want you to go over to the side over here, click on the little gear, and open up the one that's the materials. And that's going to give us a tab for the materials. And I want you to scroll down, and there's a couple of materials in here. I want you to select those and delete them. So those are applied to the couch already, to the sofa, and I don't want to use those. I want to work with my libraries. So I want a clean slate. So I deleted those materials that were being used. And now we have the plain sofa. And now, as you can see, guys, you'll see this is very simple. Right now, I want this base to be made out of wood. So I'm going to go to the wood directory here. And we have some different woods over here. So maybe, uh, maybe this thing is made out of cherry. So I'm going to select the cherry uh, material and drag and drop it onto the base of the, of the couch. And there we can see the wood automatically gets applied in one single drag and drop operation. Now uh, I'm going to go uh, into my textures area, bring out the leather, and now I'm going to put some leather material onto my surfaces. So now it's very simple, guys. We can go ahead and, and pick uh, maybe the red. Let's make this really nice and uh, so we can drag the red texture onto the parts. And there, as you can see now, we have a really nice red leather sofa with a wood, cherry wood base. Just using our library, just drag and dropping makes things you know, very easy. If I decide, okay, let me go back to the render content and let me go back to the wood and maybe change uh, to some, some something different. Let's go with a darker wood, maybe a polished uh, walnut. So, select, drag and drop, and there it is. Automatically gets assigned to the material. We go to uh, oak, and now we got oak base. So, and remember, obviously, that you can open up any other uh, options that you want. Ground plane, for example, if you want to use the ground plane, an environment, any of these. And once you're done opening them, you can then, you know, drag it and dock it on the side here, and you have access to all these options uh, directly right here on the side of your project.